Hey, what's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this super quick guide, I'll show you how to clear the system volume information folder, which could be taking up a ton of space on your system. Mine is taking up about 40 gigs with one simple file in particular taking up most of it. This is a hidden folder and usually reports as empty in Windows, as you can see here. But if you're using a tool like tree size or anything like that, this folder could be taking up quite a bit of space. What is it and how do we get rid of it? Well, to put it simply, system volume information is a folder that keeps previous versions of your files, programs, settings, etc. This is where system restore saves its files. So in order to clear this folder, we simply need to delete previous checkpoints if you're sure that your PC is running happily. This folder is getting a little bit too big in my case, so we can clear it and we can change the size that that folder is. So first of all, hit start and type in advanced, where we'll be opening view advanced system settings. Inside of this little window that pops up, head across to the system protection tab at the very top and find the drive with that big folder on it. In my case, it's C drive here. So we can click configure and you should see just how much space the current usage is and the maximum amount of space that folder can take. This is where your system restore points will be saved. You can create a new one here or roll back to previous ones by clicking system restore here. You can see I have three different versions saved. Now, in order to clear this, all we need to do is click configure, then we'll click delete in the bottom right. Once you've done that, it'll clear all of your system restore points and it'll use no more space. So now that folder is clean. And if we have a look at our drives, there should be an extra 40 or so gigs in there, however much you have this set to. Now in the future, I would recommend keeping restore points as they're super useful, but if you'd like, you can turn them off here. Or of course you can shrink the max usage over here. I had three restore points in 30 gigs and most of it was in just one file. Depending on how much you change since your last restore point, settings wise, programs wires, etc. the bigger that file can become. And you can come back here to delete it once in a while and maybe create a new one just to make sure things are okay. So I'll say working, creating a brand new point. And as soon as it's done, there we go. It's now taking up only 50 megabytes. And of course, we now have a restore point in case anything goes wrong. We've saved a ton of space and hopefully you have too. You can check your other drives to see if you've got restores enabled there, which you'll see under the protection tab over here, but that's pretty much it. So hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.